Today's episode is called Ad Agency Endeavor is being sold for $13 billion. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Private equity giant Silver Lake has agreed to take Endeavor Group Holdings private in a deal that values uh, uh, their talent agency WME and IMG at $13 billion plus. Silver Lake agreed to pay $27.50 in cash for each Endeavor share it doesn't already own. I think it was a good idea to take the money now and run. Everybody who watches the entertainment world can see what's happening. It's a mess. Ticket and pay-per-view prices are insanely high and getting higher. Families can't even afford to take their kids to sporting events anymore. They're so expensive. Have you seen the prices of concerts lately? How about movies? Movie ticket prices are almost comically expensive. William Morris Endeavor represents many of the organizations and actors and athletes in the entertainment world and the sports sector that are responsible for jacking all these prices up to the stratosphere. And a lot of the organizations and people they've been representing have been making tons of money at the same time uh, that uh, they're looking to sell themselves off as quickly as, uh, as possible. They can see where things are heading and they all want to sell while the selling is good. Did you notice how Mark Cuban, billionaire Mark Cuban, recently sold his basketball team, the Dallas Mavericks, for $3.5 billion to a casino magnate's widow? Now, he's still going to be involved, and he still owns a minority, a small minority stake, but generally speaking, he has pulled most of his money out. This tells us he believes his team's best days are behind him financially, and now is the time to pull the trigger and head for the door, which he's done. He got out while he was at the top. So I'm going to tell you a story about uh, knowing Tommy Hearns uh, when I was younger. Uh, I, uh, I lived not too far from the Kronk Gym where Tommy trained and boxed. And, uh, and in his day, Tommy Hearns made really good money uh, as a boxer, earning you know large pay-per-view purses. Uh, but it's not like that now. Now, the money athletes and actors make from deals they make on the side of their occupations, not their, uh, not their acting or their sports activities. Now, the big money athletes and actors make most of their money on the side from major business deals. George Clooney sold his tequila business for about a billion dollars, and his cut when he walked away from the deal was about $233 million. George is a great actor and a great comedian, but he never made anywhere near that, uh, that $233 million when he worked in the movie business. Never. So he got into the tequila business, and that's what happens. A billion dollars. Asian countries are no longer investing in Hollywood. The Saudis are investing billions into the sports and entertainment sector, but they can't seem to manage them very well or make them very profitable. The recent golf investment isn't going so well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually started selling or divesting themselves of some or all of those major entertainment acquisitions. People think that entertainment is always a gold mine, and it was for a long time. But now the sector has gone insane with high ticket prices and pay-per-view costs, and that's hurting the entire industry. Where's all this headed? We predict that online sports betting will play a major role for the sports world and the entertainment sector. People are going to enjoy betting on sports activities more so than they actually enjoy watching the game. That's where all this is going. We also believe that there will be more corruption in the world of sports betting very soon and that they'll eventually have to implement more sophisticated AI systems and controls to prevent athletes and others from manipulating or exploiting the sports betting opportunities. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.